So we have a viewer that would like to know what percentage of prostate cancers that are dangerous or asymptomatic. They are kind of wondering if it's asymptomatic prostate cancer, would it do more harm than good to treat it? Well, it's kind of a curious question because the way I think of prostate cancer is it's almost universally asymptomatic. Uh, the only patients I encounter who are dealing with symptoms from prostate cancer are people that have very, very advanced prostate cancer. And uh, for the most part, all the different therapies that are available to them have stopped working. In the United States, where we catch most cancers at an asymptomatic stage, even though it may be more advanced, still asymptomatic, uh, those patients are then treated and uh, they, their disease goes into remission for many years, continues to be asymptomatic through that whole time. And then uh, the only time prostate cancer-related symptoms appear, which would be perhaps bone pain, uh, or if there was a large tumor in the prostate area that caused urinary obstruction, uh, the, the, otherwise there's not going to be any uh, symptoms at all. So uh, I'm not sure why uh, people keep going back to focusing on symptoms. I guess it's a logical concern if something aches or hurts. Is it the cancer? Uh, almost certainly if the disease is responding, that is if the PSA is declining under appropriate treatment, uh, you can be pretty much 100% sure that any aches or pains that you have are definitely unrelated to the prostate cancer. So we have a viewer who's on active surveillance. They have some hip pain, and they have a PSA of 6. They have a Gleason 3 plus 3. But because of the hip pain, they're getting concerned. And they've had an MRI. It shows that it's you know just Gleason 6, that one tumor. But they're wondering if there's any other scans that they should do due to the pain. Well, it sounds like they need a diagnosis as to why uh, they're having hip pain. Could be some arthritis. Uh, and uh, that's a whole process. Usually an orthopedic surgeon or a rheumatologist can help get to the bottom of uh, what the cause is. Uh, there's actually a, another specialist called a physiatrist, a phys, um, doctors, that uh, MDs that are trained in this sort of thing. So any of those physicians would be good for as a diagnostic resource or perhaps even just a family doctor. Gleason 6 doesn't spread, so we know that uh, Gleason 6 is not the cause of the bone pain. And uh, it'd be incredibly unlikely that someone with a PSA of 6 uh, would uh, have any kind of metastatic cancer causing pain. So they need to look for other causes for the discomfort besides prostate cancer. Hey everybody, it's me, Alex, and our mascot here, Hunter. He's obviously licking my hands because we have lots of treats for him today. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week. And go ahead and check him out on Instagram at Sir Hunter the Dow. Also, check out our website, pci.org, for more information about prostate cancer. We hope it helps.